But first, an urgent search is underway right now across the valley for the gunman who killed a 31-year-old man tonight. Loved ones are sharing these pictures of the victim, David Parsons. More than 48 hours have now passed since the shooting, and the suspect is still on the loose. 13 Action News anchor Masa Saidi is live near Owens and Pecos with critical information from police. Masa. Trisha Steve, the suspect had a black Dodge Charger with a woman inside. That woman possibly the cause of this deadly encounter. Tonight, as detectives search for David Parsons' killer, the children who loved him lingered for hours at the spot he lost his life. They asked their mom, David's fiance, if they could speak with us about their loss. What is that? I just wish he could have a second life. He was just like, you know, the nicest person I know. It's like, if I had a problem, I could always go to him about it. Stunned and shattered after David's chance meeting with a stranger, fiance Desiree Han spoke with a person who says he witnessed the escalation. He got too close to another lady and that's what started the fight. A fight inside the store leading to the lot police would soon flood. They say there was a struggle over a handgun by the suspect's black Dodge Charger. Seconds later, Parson shot in the chest would die on scene. It's terrible, really bad. Pretty bad. I want to miss him very much. And we check these nearby cameras. No surveillance of the lot. Police are asking for anyone with surveillance of the suspect to come forward. They also have not released a motive yet. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. Masa, thank you.